thanks for dropping in. Last year, I made this posable snowman toy. The design was an unexpected hit, and it inspired a flurry of accessory remixes, from a stylish sun hat to sporty skis. Another surprise was how often the snowman was scaled up to create giant prints. It just didn't occur to me that these palm-sized toys could become huge holiday decorations. I had to print one of these large copies for myself, but scaling up prints to these extremes can come with a few drawbacks. Connections between parts start to feel a bit sloppy due to larger than expected clearances. And depending on your infill settings, thicker walls may waste filament or add unnecessary weight. So I've remodeled the design specifically for larger prints. This supersized snowman is 400% larger than the original fidget, yet it retains the same tight clearances and thin walls. At this scale, the bottom sphere is 200 millimeters in diameter, so an extra large printer is not mandatory to make your own copy. While I was reworking the design, I decided to throw in some extra hidden improvements. The hollow core of the model has been reshaped to print more reliably. If you prefer a less streamlined snowman look, you can add these new arms. And I've included holes for optional 6 by 3 millimeter magnets behind every single eye, nose, button, and arm. This way you can easily switch out parts, like a frosty Mr. Potato Head. The most important change is how everything comes together. So let's cover that by building another copy. And while we're at it, we can give it a different ensemble. This woolly hat designed by Wacky 3D Prints looks great. So I remixed it slightly and printed it at 400% scale. In addition to the hat, we'll need a head, a bottom, a chest with holes for arms, two arms, three buttons, two eyes, a carrot nose, and a sweater collar. To hold our snowman together, we'll need an alignment peg, two bolts, a tension bar, and about 50 millimeters of TPU filament, fishing line, or sewing elastic. Even though these parts are big, they aren't challenging prints. I use no supports, 10% gyroid infill, and a 0.2 millimeter layer height. For all the snow parts and the hat, I added a very minimal fuzzy texture. This helps hide layer lines and printing artifacts, especially on white filament. If you plan to add magnets to your snowman, now's the easiest time to do it. Just make sure they're all facing the correct direction. With that done, we need to attach our loop of TPU to the tension bar. There's a few ways you can do this, but I'm just going to insert both ends of the loop into the center hole of the tension bar. Then I'll tie them in a knot so they can't slide out. The tension bar has some extra holes that you could use for additional loops or to make your knots more secure, but I'm not going to use them for this assembly. Make sure that the knot is on the same side of the bar as the chamfer around these bolt holes. This will make the next few steps a lot easier. Now we'll lower the tension bar inside the largest snowman sphere. These two bolts slide in from the bottom and screw in to the tension bar. You'll probably need to hold the bar in place with one hand as you're twisting the bolts with the other. We want to tighten the bolts just enough so that they won't unscrew themselves from the bar. We'll tighten them the rest of the way later. Next, we'll slide on the chest in either the collar or the scarf. Adding the head is a little more difficult. We need to loop the TPU around this small hook from the inside of the head. To make this easier, I'm going to use an Allen key a little bit like a sewing needle to take the TPU and fish it through but a short length of bent wire would be even better. Once that's secure, the tricky part is over, and we can tension the snowman by tightening the two bottom bolts. Make sure to tighten the bolts about the same amount, or your snowman might go askew. The TPU should be tight enough so that each individual snowman part holds its position against gravity. Now that the body is fully assembled, we can add the remaining accessories. Buttons, arms, nose, and eyes. These should all be a fairly secure fit. Unfortunately, the hat doesn't have much to keep it in place. That's where this U-shaped alignment peg comes in. You glue one side into the hat, and the other end will plug into the head. This will keep the hat secure if your snowman gets a bump, but it's still loose enough to swap with a different accessory. 
And now you're done. Well, until you decide to print another, of course. You don't want your snow people to be lonely, do you? I mentioned earlier that this woolly hat underwent a little remixing in order to work with this updated snowman. If you see any existing hat models that you'd like to use with your snow people, you'll need to add this U-shaped hole to it. Unless you're just gluing the hat on, of course. So I'm including a template file with this project that represents the shape of that hole. You can import that template into your favorite modeling software and use it as a three-dimensional hole punch. If you use Prusa Slicer, you can do the exact same thing with its negative volume feature, a trick I find myself using a lot more often these days. I hope this will make it easier to create even more Snow People accessories in the years to come. That's it for our giant snowman update. I can't wait to see what larger prints show up. But until then, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.